We continue looking at question two. And we're now at part D from the January 2021 CSEC Mathematics Past Paper. Now, I had already copied the question over here, so let's look at it. The distance needed to stop a car, D, so that's the distance D, varies directly as the square of the speed S. The square of the speed S, all right, at which it is traveling. A car traveling at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour requires a distance of 40 meters to make a stop. What distance is required to stop a car traveling at 80 kilometers per hour? All right. Now, remember, when two quantities vary directly, it means that when one increases, the other increases proportionally with it. When, the, when one decreases, the other decreases. So they rise together and fall together. If they had said inversely, it means when one rise, falls, the, when one rise, the other falls. And when one falls, the other rises. All right? But it's directly proportional dealing with so they rise together they fall together they say as the square of the speed no the thing is if you have two quantities that directly are directly proportional if one of them is one and the other is two when this one becomes two the other will become 4 and when this one becomes 4 the other will become 8 so you double or triple and so on and so forth 1 divided by 2 is a half 2 divided by 4 is a half 4 divided by 8 is a half so you must divide them to get the constant all right you get a constant by dividing now it says the square of the speed so 40 square, 80 square. What this means now is 70 divided by 40 squared will be equal to. You don't know what this thing will be. So call it dx equals dx divided by 80 squared. All right? Whatever the distance is, 70 divided by by 40 squared is equal to dx whatever it is divided by 80 squared that's how you're going to set up this working so it's going to be 70 divided by 40 squared what 1600 equals dx divided by this is 6, 400. So you want dx now. Multiply both sides by 6,400. Multiply both sides by 6,400. What do you get? dx equals 70 times 6,400 all over 1,600. So, let's see... What the case will be here now. Mm. 70 multiplied by 6400 equals, and then that over 1600 equals 280. 280. Because remember, it says as the square. So the distance will be 280. So what distance required to stop at 80 kilometers per hour? Yeah. It's going to be 280. 
um, meters. So the answer here is 280 meters. All right. So that is going to be it for question two. Then we will look at question three in our next video.